Hello, podcast listeners. Today I will be reading a special I Have a Dream speech that I had worked on as a project during the 2019 to 20 school season for my ELA class. I hope you enjoyed this and let's move on to the next segment. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Just to tell you guys before I read this speech, this was before the pandemic and some of these things may sound kind of weird now because we're in a pandemic, but this was before we were social distancing and so forth. So I'm about to read it right now. Brendan Brown, Miss Price, ELA, 123 or should I say January 23rd, 2020. I have a dream speech. Okay, let's start it off. I have a dream that one day I will become a CEO, entrepreneur, to help my foundation and make my company a success. My customers will enjoy my inventions they purchase, and my advertisers will make advertisements that will blow everyone's mind. I will try my best to be a lovable, kind boss to my employees, and my leadership skills will flow through and out of my kids, family, and employees. My company will not be those companies that just make your employees work until they break. It will be a smooth and steady workforce. I will promise to my employees that I won't be a CEO that's mean, but a well-respected young black man. I have a dream that one day our technology will change so that families could come together to spend time with each other. The world said that we would have flying cars by 2020, and that didn't happen. But that's not what we're talking about in this lesson. I want to talk about electronic problems that could change the world. For example, cell phones. Every family uses cell phones in the house but never spends time with each other at the table. Just like how video games are addictive to kids and teens, them playing outside or inside reading a book. I really want the world to upgrade their latest technologies to be family-oriented so that families can get into reality rather than fake reality like social media and so forth. I have a dream that our generation would help with climate change. We as humans need to stop chopping down trees because we are taking away our oxygen. We don't need a lot of houses and apartments in this world. We have enough roofs over our heads, but we need to take care of the homeless. I have a dream for the world to focus more on the homeless than building more houses to make profit. Also. Bullying needs to be enforced by teachers, and also cyberbullying needs to be enforced by teachers, principals, and other staff in a school so that disobedient kids could be scared of the idea of consequences for bullying someone or cyberbullying someone. We as humans should never be racist to anyone's religion or race because judging them isn't good for them nor us. Judging people by their race should be illegal, and people who do it will be punished for their crime. I have a dream that the nation will come together and accept each other's cultures and diversity, which is actually happening now. And at the time, at the, um, when I posted this on my social media account, it was July 6, 2020, for George Floyd. So, yeah. um, That was a really fun poem I made. Or should I say speech? Forgive me. I really enjoyed that speech. And, you know, that was before I was doing podcasting, of course, because I was in, like, I believe, yeah, beginning 2020, so two months before I started my podcast. So, yeah, that was pre-podcast me. <laughs> but I enjoyed that poem and speech, and I hope you guys learned something from that speech, and hope you just enjoyed it. So let's move on to the conclusion. And as we are now into the conclusion, hope you enjoyed that wonderful episode. Hope you just very much learned something from that. And again, my goal, my passion is to become an entrepreneur, a full-time YouTuber, and a full-time podcaster. So again, pray for me that that will happen soon and that I can grow to get that. And I hope you guys just enjoyed this wonderful episode. And to make this conclusion a little bit longer, I just want to tell you guys that Martin Luther King was a very memorable person and a very important person when it came to civil rights movement because without him we probably would never have had 
you know, so much equalism in race as of now, we probably would have still been going through all of those things like segregation and so forth, you know, with the racism. But I'm glad that Martin Luther King actually still was alive to say those things. And then, you know, he got assassinated, which was sad and horrible mess and things happened. But again, he is a very memorable person in black history. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day to everyone who's listening to this episode. And I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. All righty, podcast listeners. Goodbye and love all you guys and gals. Have a blessed, wonderful day again.